Hi guys, welcome back to High Point Outdoors. I'm going to be doing a segment with you guys on a do-it-yourself food plot. So, the reason why I'm putting this food plot in um, is because on this property that is normally farmed uh, with soybean or sometimes corn, but the farmer was unable to get his tractor on uh, the back side of the property where this field is, so I decided to put in a half acre food plot in front of one of um, the main stands that I have up here and the goal is to keep deer within the general area and give them a food source throughout the season. To get started I had to rent a brush hog which I rented this billy goat from Home Depot for a little over 100 bucks for the entire day. Um, it has a 26 inch cutting diameter um, and it did a great job. It tackled everything with ease that I put in front of it. Um, the only thing I wish it had though was a wider cutting diameter because it would have brought the mileage on my feet down. I think I ended up at the end of the day with like 9 miles or something like that. I mean I brushed hog for probably 4 hours continuously back and forth and uh, then had to do the walking with the cedar and whatnot. Yeah, it was it was a lot of steps in one day. After cutting all the brush down, Angelo would come by with the tractor and use the rake to pull off all the debris out of the field and then use that rake as well to turn the soil over to get it ready for uh, seeding. And we also did another food plot in the opposite corner of the field. Uh, it was about a third of an acre food plot, but we had that set up there as another option to go sit, especially if the wind was not in our favor for uh, this food plot that you see here. Um, it's just another good location, another food source for them to get to. I went to Livingston Feed and Seed store in Howell and I asked them what they recommended for uh, a food plot for this time of the year and they recommended a brassica blend. Um, this food plot I was putting in uh, I believe it was the second week of September and they told me that this blend is good to uh, from early to late season. It will you know, withstand a little bit of the colder climates and it will withstand till the winter. And uh, here's a list of the percentages of the seeds that are in the mix. And so you get an idea of what your deer are going to be eating. Um, the people there are very helpful. They were very, very knowledgeable about what I was looking for and what would best help me. Um, as you see, the brassica blend is the main food source, but then the filler crop is the oats. And... Uh, that is uh, really good, especially for late season, and uh, keeps the deer coming back. As you see here, I use a broadcaster to spread the seed throughout the field for the food plot. Um, I kind of ration it off easy, evenly between the two food plots that I was doing. Um, once I get done seeding it, I put a 12-12-12 fertilizer. It's kind of a does-everything mix. They highly recommended it for um, just getting something going, and it, it's turned out great, the 12-12-12. I've used it twice now, and it works wonderful. The property owner got a harrow for us to turn the soil over to help germinate the seeds and he went through the next day and did all that for us. And I will say it, it really helps doing that, getting that topsoil turned over and it really helps the germination process. As you can see, the picture on the left is uh, two weeks later, one on the right is four weeks later, and then here's a ground shot, I think roughly five weeks later, and it is just growing great. And then here is a shot of the other food plot on the opposite side of the field, and this one's doing even better. Well, all right, that was everything that I had for you guys on how to put in your own food plot. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little episode, and hope you guys learned a little something from it on how to put your own food plot in. It, uh, it, it can be a lot of work, but if you get a couple people and some nice power equipment, it can make the job pretty easy. And... Uh, the rewards can really pay off in the long run, especially if you get that trophy buck of a lifetime off of it. It's even that much better if uh, all the hard work that you do pays off and really helps seal the deal. But once again, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, if you want to keep seeing more, like, subscribe, check out the channel. There's so much good stuff on our channel that you guys can check out, and there's always lots more to come.
Thank you.